In a serious escalation in the Middle East, Iran has launched a barrage of missiles toward Israel. This occurred on the same day Israel initiated a ground invasion into southern Lebanon, targeting Hezbollah. Sirens sounded across Israel, with people rushing to shelters as explosions lit up the skies. Israel has vowed consequences, while Iran warned of a crushing response if Israel retaliates. The Israel Defense Forces reported that around 180 missiles were fired across the country, targeting areas including Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. BBC correspondent John Donison, stationed in Israel, was among millions who sought shelter during the attack. This marks an unprecedented Iranian missile assault on Israel, signaling significant consequences. The missiles, traveling 2,000 kilometers in just 12 minutes, pushed Israel's defense system to its limits. Israeli officials have assured that retaliation is imminent, with plans to strike at a time of their choosing. In Tel Aviv, a restaurant was hit directly, and a school in central Israel was also struck. The US confirmed its assistance in shooting down some missiles, using naval destroyers and air defense units. In Gaza and Tehran, celebrations broke out in response to the attack. Iran's missile assault is widely seen as revenge for the assassination of Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh by Israeli forces. The global diplomatic community, despite months of efforts to prevent escalation, failed to prevent the region-wide conflict. Israel is expected to respond forcefully, marking a dangerous new phase in the conflict. In Lebanon, Israeli troops crossed the border into southern Lebanon, advising villagers to evacuate. For months, Israeli special forces have operated in Lebanon, dismantling Hezbollah tunnels. The Iranian missile attack underscores the unpredictability of the situation. Israeli defenses work to intercept wave after wave of Iranian missiles, but the conflict continues to intensify. Israel's invasion of southern Lebanon is part of a broader military strategy, and the risks of a wider war loom large, with tension stretching across the region.